We all know someone who seems to have it all together. They have a great job, a nice house, and a loving family. But what we don't see is the anxiety and unhappiness that may be hiding just below the surface. According to a recent study, one in two people consider themselves unhappy and unfulfilled with their lives. That's a pretty staggering statistic. And it's likely that many of those people are caught in one or more of the following traps. In this video, we're going to be talking about 10 traps to avoid in life. These are traps that can lead to unhappiness, frustration, and even failure. Welcome to CoffeePo.com, where you learn finance every day. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do as we bring valuable information every day to keep you informed and updated about finances. 1. Cheap Dopamine Trap In life, it's easy to fall into traps that can lead to unhealthy habits and lifestyles. One such trap is the Cheap Dopamine Trap. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in pleasure and motivation. When we do something that feels good, Dopamine is released in the brain. This can lead to a dopamine high that feels pleasurable and can be addictive. The problem with the dopamine trap is that it's often based on activities that are not good for us in the long run. For example, eating junk food may give us a short-term dopamine high, but it's not good for our health. Similarly, using drugs or alcohol may give us a dopamine high, but it can lead to addiction and other problems. The key to avoiding the dopamine trap is to be aware of it and to make sure that our dopamine highs are based on healthy activities. Eating healthy foods, exercising, spending time with loved ones, and doing things that we enjoy are all good ways to get dopamine without putting our health at risk. Two. The quick fix trap. Nobody said life was easy. In fact, if anything, life is quite hard. The challenges and obstacles we face on a daily basis can seem insurmountable at times. But that's the beauty of life, the fact that we can overcome these obstacles and come out stronger on the other side. The key to success in life is to never give up. There will always be roadblocks and setbacks, but it's how we deal with them that determines our success. The best way to deal with these challenges is to face them head on. The best way to do this is to develop a growth mindset. This means that we view obstacles and challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. Instead of seeing them as roadblocks, we see them as stepping stones to success. If we can adopt this mindset, then we will be well on our way to achieving our goals and reaching our full potential. Three. Lifestyle Inflation Trap Most people would love to be in a position where they are making more money than they know what to do with. Unfortunately, this is often when people fall into the trap of increasing their lifestyle along with their earnings. The problem with this is that it assumes your earning will continue to go up or at least stay the same. This might be fine until something happens that causes your income to decrease. Then you could find yourself in a difficult situation especially if you have a lot of expensive items that you need to pay for. This is why you see so many celebrities and athletes go broke soon after their income decreases. They have become used to a certain lifestyle, and when they can no longer afford it, they are in trouble. The trap lies in playing status games. You want others to know you're successful. You want others to see how well you're doing. This can back to pride. So it is important to resist the temptation to keep up with the Joneses. 4. Start of Life Trap Some people live with this illusion that they are waiting for something like preparing for life to start at some point in the future. Do you know what we mean? It's this idea that at one point life will begin, and all of this right now doesn't count. You know we're big fans of delayed gratification, but this isn't it. People are wasting their lives expecting for an imaginary moment in their future to click somehow and finally they'll become alive. Well guess what that moment doesn't come to you. You have to go to it. It's not that we don't believe in taking the time to plan and prepare for big moments in our lives. Of course those are important. But what we're talking about is this idea that somehow life itself is on hold until some arbitrary point in the future. That's just not how it works. Life is happening right now. It's happening while you're watching this video. It's happening while you're at work, or at school, or at home. It's happening whether you're ready for it or not. The sooner you accept that, the sooner you can start living life to the fullest. Stop waiting for some imaginary moment to arrive and start living right now. Five. Sunk Cost Trap The sunk cost fallacy is a cognitive bias that leads us to believe that we have invested so much in something that we cannot possibly walk away from it. This fallacy is often the reason why people stay in unsatisfying relationships or jobs. They are afraid of change and believe that the cost of starting over is too high. However, 
It is important to remember that the sunk cost fallacy is just a fallacy. It is not based in reality, and it should not dictate your decisions. If you are unhappy in a relationship or job, the best thing you can do is walk away. Change can be scary, but it is often the best thing for us. Six. Victimhood Trap A victim mentality is a way of thinking that sees oneself as a victim of circumstance. This way of thinking can be self-perpetuating, as it can lead to a feeling of powerlessness and a lack of control. Victim mentality can be caused by a number of factors, including trauma, abuse, and negative life experiences. It can also be a learned response to difficult situations. Victim mentality can have a number of negative consequences. People who think this way may have difficulty taking responsibility for their own lives. They may also blame others for their problems and fail to see their own role in difficult situations. This way of thinking can lead to feelings of powerlessness and hopelessness. Victim mentality can also make it difficult to form and maintain healthy relationships. If you think you may have a victim mentality, there are a number of things you can do to change your way of thinking. Start by taking responsibility for your own life. Accept that you are capable of making your own decisions and taking control of your own life. Work on building self-esteem and self-confidence. Challenge your negative thoughts and beliefs. Seek professional help if you feel you need it. Remember that you are not powerless and that you can make changes in your life. Seven. Savior and Expectations Trap The dual trap is a trap that can apply to both the individual and to society as a whole. On an individual level, it can manifest as a belief that someone else will come along and fix our lives for us. We may wait for a savior to show up and make everything better instead of taking responsibility for our own lives. This trap can also apply to our relationships with others. We may see potential in someone and judge their actions based on what they could become instead of what they are. This can lead to unrealistic expectations and disappointment. On a societal level, this trap manifests as the belief that a country needs a president to fix things. This is not the case. It is the people who make up a country that ultimately fix it. This trap can be dangerous because it can lead to a sense of entitlement and a lack of personal responsibility. Eight, education trap. You don't need a degree to be successful. In today's society, there is an overwhelming pressure to get a degree. It seems like everywhere you look, someone is telling you that you need a degree to be successful. But the truth is, you don't need a degree to be successful. A degree is a piece of paper that you paid money and time for. More often than not, they are completely useless. The only real test of intelligence is if you get what you want in life. Everything else is education is what you're left with once the learning stops. Fortunately for you, a high quality education is free or almost free. Do not underestimate the value of online learning, of YouTube, of apps, or what digital courses can do for your life at a fraction of the cost. You can get a high quality education for free or almost free by taking advantage of online learning, YouTube, apps, and digital courses. These resources can provide you with the knowledge and skills you need to be successful without the expensive price tag of a traditional education. Nine. Scarcity Trap Most people live with a scarcity mindset. They believe that there is just not enough for everybody, and that if they don't get as much as possible, they will go without. They see value as fixed and opportunity as limited. Although we hear daily on the news that there is more money being printed, they believe that this will not create more opportunity. This scarcity mindset is factually wrong. There is no pie. There's no shortage of ingredients. You can bake your own pie anytime you want. The pie can get bigger in time. Stay away from people with a limiting mindset. 10. The buy now, pay later trap. Apple's new buy now, pay later option in Apple Wallet is just the latest example of how financial institutions are trapping people in a cycle of debt. Debt is a major problem for many people in the United States. In fact, the average American has nearly 38,000 in debt, including mortgages, credit cards, student loans, and car loans. With interest rates on the rise, it's only going to get harder to pay off these debts. And if you're only making the minimum payments, you're not even making a dent in the principal. The buy now, pay later option is just going to make it easier for people to rack up more debt. And it's not just Apple. More and more companies are offering similar options. What's even more troubling is that many of these companies are targeting young people. They're using social media and other marketing techniques to lure young people into taking on more debt than they can handle. It's time to stop this cycle of debt. If you're in debt, Start working on a plan to pay it off. And if you're not in debt, 
Don't start. Use cash or debit instead of credit. It's the only way to keep your financial future bright. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more videos from our channel, subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell icon.